a Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow finished uh, up three dollars, three points. Nasdaq up seventeen. S and P's up two. Gold, gold contract caught the bid up eight forty. Traded at fourteen eighty. Silver up five cents, seventeen dollars flat. Light sweet crude up sixty four cents, fifty nine dollars eighty two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Now notes and bonds, uh, no doubt, monster day out here. Yesterday they got slammed on the way down. Today what you had is that they got to a lower low. They went against the swing point from November 7th. Now, November 7th was also a wide price spread day on the way down, folks. So with yesterday, you had this huge amount of selling on the way down. But guess what? It was before the swing point. So what ends up happening, it is just like you'd be running a marathon and are swimming, and all the energy comes out before you get to the finish line. So today, we got to the finish line. Guess what? You rejected lower price. Bottom line, notes as well as bonds took off topside like a rocket ship once again. You had the 10-year up 19, the 30-year up a point in 12 ticks. That is saying that higher price inside note and bonds, lower yield continues to come at us because that is still a very small retracement in the context of where the note and bond market uh, has been going for quite some time. King dollar. King dollar uh, did change trend this week. The trend, the trend that it changes from, from February of 2018, folks. So it's a large change of trend. Right now, we're at 97, 193. It looks like it's, we're on the way to 195. And, you know, bottom line, what you're going to get out of that, it's the, the pound as well as the euro. The pound had broken topside last week, followed through this week. Johnson got elected, decisive election. UK is going to be out of the European Union. Market likes it. They got some conviction that the pound wants to go higher. Euro also spiked higher today over its swing points, then gave it up on price. I suspect you're going to be right back topside on that. Just the euro and the pound going higher, folks, will take that dollar lower in a huge way. The yen, the yen is still hanging out here at the 109.33 mark. We're going to take a look at the S&Ps. Bottom line, you're still at all-time highs inside the S&Ps. You know, coming into next week, bottom line, next week will be the last week that I think you have uh, some real trading. Then we're going to be on holiday trading for approximately three weeks. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. And we look forward to speaking here. Come right back here. Monday morning, 9 o'clock. Larry Pesavento kicks us off. Great program. Yeah, look at him, folks.